Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nixon, I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be checking out this guy. It's Omron NT2S screen. It's an old screen, completely discontinued nevertheless. Still a lot of it around and a lot of people like it. I like these little screens. By the way, I'm going to quickly show you, I'll show you in a minute as well the replacement for it. It's a good, uh, it's a good little screen to control your Omron controllers and uh, and uh, it does work really well and the software is free to configure it and free to program this guy. So I think that's why a lot of people still like these. Again, these are discontinued. I'm going to show you how to get a program in, how to get a program out and what software to use. The software is free. It's called NTX s from omron website i'm going to show that as well how to get it and uh, yeah so this is what we're going to be doing today and the programming cable we are going to be using today it looks like that by the way this is something you can make yourself you don't have to buy it from omron but nevertheless i will uh leave at the can you see that no, i'm not sure you can see it i'll leave that uh, part number in the description below if you do if by any chance you have a industrial laptop like a tough book or anything like that uh you will have a, a serial port for it and you'll be able to connect it uh, connect directly with the rs232 port if you don't have and you have a laptop just use a standard uh, uh rs232 bridge between usb and so yeah that's that's pretty much you what we are going to be doing today so i will leave all the related videos and probably anything else that is there i will leave them in the description below and below before we go and suggest replacement guys ombron is suggesting this guy so this is the mb3q we're going to be checking this guy out separately in a separate video so that's what they are recommending for you to replace uh i don't know how's that coming through but that's their recommendation anyway and nevertheless we're going to be checking out that guy as well so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get started here we are so uh, once you uh, click the link in the description below that link is going to take you here so that is going to be Omron official website where you can scroll down. Actually, you don't even have to scroll down. You can go straight in here and it'll take you down to the download uh, part of it. And if you even click the software, you want to go a bit narrower. There's a manual in there as well if you need. And there's a software as well. Now, that's all going to be in the description a bit low. But the only thing when you need to do, you need to make sure you're registered with Omron itself. You can do that quite easily. Just click register and add your name, surname, email address. And that's typical like any other registration website go through all the procedures and you'll be good to go so once you've done that uh, then uh, you will download the uh, system uh, download the file and then just install uh, install the program and this is what you're gonna have on your screen as NTX SV 1.04 from there on you open up the software and this is the screen you're gonna be opening up and then uh, you are pretty much gonna be proceeding of actual upload of the program from the screen uh, I am using a serial connector because I'm using a tough book and all the, most of the tough books they all come with the uh, serial ports because they're more or less for industrial uses only, M more, more or less used for industrial purposes so they come with a very very uh, uh, hardcore stuff that a lot of people remove from laptops that no longer use in or, or normally days in normal uh, applications but tough books they are, they are in industrial use where serial port is more or less quite needed. So even though I am uh, I am using a serial port, I can use USB as well. Or USB bridge converter will do. The only thing in here you need to make sure that uh, when you do use a bridge converter, uh, with RS three two three two to a USB, just go into device manager, device manager, and make sure that whatever the make of of a converter you're using, it's uh, you uh, you find out which COM port has been assigned what in uh, god's name is it playing with me my computer is going absolutely uh, where's my usbs yeah in here as you can port in here so make sure that uh is your uh, is like this one in here the management technology and you sort of gonna assign comfort for it so make sure your uh, your uh, correct comport is in here so uh, there's one thing to point out if you are starting the screen brand new and there's nothing in it you won't be able to upload anything out of it it will come up with an error you can't communicate at least in my case that's what he was doing but now i have added something into the screen so you should be able to get information out of it uh, and, and, and to, to go around this problem just start a new project and uh, or load your project into it rather than uh, trying to get it out of it 
so uh, here we go my one went all okay once you've done that this is the screen main screen you're gonna get to and from there on you can save your project call it whatever you want as you can see I'm, uh, I'm gonna call test why not so if you want to know, yes and from there on your project will be more or less backed up ready for the rainy day when your uh, 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 well, your screen goes down and then you need a new one another thing is that sometimes there could be a password set up on that one if you have a password on it you're pretty much screwed unless you are getting the uh, actual password from uh, the manufacturer so if you don't you well there's not much you can do and uh, yeah so then uh, you can start a new application if you wish and then select what screen is going to be you know and, and then once you once you uh if you do that you click uh, OK, and then obviously you need to tell, uh, tell it to know which one is it, NT2, NT2S, which model, 26B or 25B, and blah, blah, blah. So, so uh, that, that is uh, that. And uh, yes, yeah, so from there on, you can, once you finish doing doing your project, you, you just more or less can download into back into the screen, whatever you are trying to do. If you go into network configurations, if you're starting from the, from the scratch and uh, need to configure your PLC, just add a node in here. Select what PLC family you're going to be using. So you can do Alan Bradley's and blah, blah. So if you, let's say if you come from micro and in, in, in here is a whole list of uh, PLCs that are supported. If your list PLC is not on the list, it means it's not, in, not supported, but more or less there more of them all are there. So uh, let's have a look at what it does for Bradley. So Bradley, 1,000, 1,200, and 1,500. It's no 1,100. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, so uh, or maybe, oh yeah, there we go for SL500. So mm, now we use a Kane's, Kane's K series PLCs. So yeah, this is where you're more or less going to select your a. Uh, um, uh, PLC. I'm oh, just gonna go for M C P M two A. Why not? We're gonna look at it. Uh, uh, the communication, actual uh, establishing and starting control, the whole thing. We're not gonna be using this specific screen, uh, but later on we're gonna be uh, starting the videos as well for all Omron on PLCs. And once you've done that, I don't know, then you you should be a good to go. So uh, once you've done that, as you can see down there, you got tags, screens, and uh, global keys. You can go on global keys and find out what's assigned. As you can see down here, I have a not much in here. Oh yeah, this is a new project we're starting. And so yeah, so add stuff in there, and uh, you can add this. Is right down here. You can add the password if you want to. So if you want to be cheeky, you can uh, lock out all the screens if you wish to a lot of people do it for protection of the machinery from then this is where you start uh, doing your a uh, tags and things like that again tag name and then a bit types and then is is your word is it the double word and uh, let's say you go for one where it's a little bit high bit and then then, then yeah so registers so yeah uh, if you are doing that yeah so bishop basically this is a programming part which you're not going to get into it let's get out of it because otherwise this video is going to drag on so from there on again once you've done your project there's your screens in here you can do your screens let's do let's let's call this screen one so and uh, let's assign a global key to it these are not available let's assign one to well, number one uh, on our keypad is going act to activate this screen just to give you a little bit of a, a uh, uh, of uh, starting now let's go hello you two here we go so uh, once you've done that so uh, and then uh, we assign a key we're not going to do index network communication. okay and from there on we're just going to download back into the screen so one thing I double check because I didn't check uh, when I did my a, uh, a network what I assigned in there regarding when it comes down to oh yeah, I am wanted uh, 125 BE yeah so I chose the correct one just to I uh, just double check make sure I use the correct one so uh, yeah, let's close that one so and then uh, let's download it into the screen so that's just pretty much how the download is happening so now it pumps everything in uh, to the screen. As you can see, it's really showing what it is. And let's remove that one. Let's see if our message is popping up. 
It's not. Didn't we? Didn't we sign up for it? We did assign. Oh, did we? Didn't we assign the key for it? Uh, oh, we didn't, didn't we? So uh, what I also needed to do in here is uh, select a task. Go to screen. Yes, go to screen one. That's what we forgot to do. There we go. So let's close that one. So now load it into the into the HMO. There you go. That's done. So did it work now? There we go. This is where our message of hello YouTube. It is in that, ladies and gentlemen. It is NTXS home run programming software for your NT2S and NT3S uh, HMIs. Hopefully, this is giving you a good start and uh, giving you an idea how to back up your program and, and, and get your system going. So if you like the video, please don't forget to smash that like and uh, comment below if you have any questions. Please note, I am not, I'm not a great user of this uh, software to program uh, the these HMI so, so I won't gonna be much help regarding when it comes down to programming because uh, I usually uh, was backing these guys up and uh, never really doing much of a program. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, definitely ask any questions if you can, and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as as accurate as I can. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.